What's up y'all, your boy K-Star here back with another action figure unboxing review. Today we're going to be doing the Medicos Jojo's Bizarre Adventures Part 5 Guido Mister Super Action Statue. So yeah, one maybe a fan favourite, I'm not so sure. I didn't mind the character in Golden Wind, I thought he was pretty cool. So we decided to grab his figure around Christmas. So it's only just come in which is a, a nice surprise in the post. So we can't argue with that. So we'll go straight into the review without any further ado. So first of all, as always, you have the box with the window display of Mister in there. So you have the front of the box, all the general shebang, his name, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures, his name again on the side in gold. We've got the side of the box, a nice image of Mister there. Can't go wrong with that. We've got the back of the box with various poses Mr. can do. All the accessories written there. The faces, the display base, and the Medicos seal of approvement there. You have the other side of the box, another image of Mr. At the bottom with all the Japanese age warnings, terms and conditions, 13 and up, general shebang again. And finally, we have the top of the box with Jojo Guido Mister SP Super Action Statue. So yeah, it's all the boring stuff out the way. As always, we crack, crack him open from the bottom without creasing up the box like me, but pretty easy to do. Just slide him straight out, put that over there. And as you can see, as always, he greeted with the clamshell, Guido, all his hands and accessories in a very nice displayed case, as we like. So, as always, this is a bit bigger, so this is a bit harder to crack open. So, carefully take over the shell. And again, lovely bit of pad in there to keep him nice and still. All his guns, his stand, his bullets, everything, all nicely there. So we'll get him out and get into some paint and detail. So, as you know, with Jojo's Bizarre Adventures, the characters are always very flamboyant. They've all got personalised, unique, coloured outfits. Comes with every figure. Can't go wrong with that, looking pretty mean. Again, a very questionable outfit you may be thinking what is he wearing but if you watch the show you'd understand and he's looking pretty dope so we'll start from the head we have guido mister with his safety hat stylish hat whatever you want to call it it's got red blue and white all blended together nicely with a cross hatch style as you go all around You've got Guido's skin tone, his eyes painted really well, down to his jumper. The collar goes round nice red and white, and the pattern on the back. And you've got the white jumper that looks very, I must say, it looks really material-like, like it's an actual jumper, so they've done a great job there. If you can see that, it actually looks like he's wearing a jumper. So it goes down to his hands there, at the wrist, not too bad. You've got his crazy zebra print red and blue trousers, which looked pretty cool there. And his belt, if you can see that. The bodywork sculpted awesomely, as always, and painted nicely. And we keep going down. Sorry, my camera just doesn't want to focus today. We go down to his legs. The nice black shin guards. And then the nice expensive red and black shoes that he likes to wear. So yeah, not too bad for our Guido mister, all in general today. There you go, there's a better look at the shoes and the golden paint there. So we can't argue with that. Very nice. So I suppose we better get into some articulation. I've just took him out of the box. So he's very, very, very stiff. So... 
as of now, all I can tell is he has head up about that far, down about that far. He can twist left and right, but I'm not going to overdo him because I've just got him out. And as always, you know me, you don't want to break him. He's got neck, so you can push the neck forward and backwards, but it is very tight. I haven't eased him with some hot water as of yet. So that could be an issue for me. And he seems, as I said before, he seems very, very stiff. So I want to be very careful with that. At his arms, he can go to about 90. He's got a bicep swivel there and a tricep swivel. But as you can see, the joint is very, very delicate. As you can see that. So you can swivel that, but I'd be very careful. His arm can go all the way in to do a Jojo pose or a curl. And his wrist can swivel all the way around, but you're better off easing it with a hairdryer or some hot water before we do any of that malarkey. His chest can go up and down as so, as you can see there. His stomach can rotate, but I don't think I should risk trying to bend it because it does look very stiff and I'm worried that it might just break him so I'm going to leave it like that for now until I can get some hot water on him to ease him his legs he can do kind of like a split side to side like that his leg can come up through the joint and do some kind of crazy jump poses the other side of the leg on the double joint there can literally go to the back of his thigh and he can do a little special Jojo's like dodge pose there and the same this side so you can do all sorts you can put him on the display base and do some crazy business if that's your thing and then finally his ankle has an ankle rocker. You can twist it all the way around if you want to, I'm not gonna. You can pivot forward and backwards and he's got a toe hinge as always. So for Guido, once you've eased him in a bit, not half shabby, not half shabby at all. So we can't go wrong with that. I'm just a bit gutted about the fact I can't seem to move his gut, but hopefully we'll be able to solve that shebang later as we get into him a bit more. So next, we'll go into a bit of accessories. So here's some accessories he comes with. So as you know, Guido comes with all these hands, so he gets the two fists he's got, and then six other hands, many of them of which are to hold the guns. So, as you know, this guy, his stand in the anime is called sex pistols pardon the uh, the grotesque language so if there's any kids watching or anything you shouldn't be because this is age 13 and up video so you stand in the mangas called sex pistols but they changed it to suit younger audience to could be called six bullets which is a bit less uh, crazy if you want to call it that so basically this guy stand is when he shoots his gun, he's got six bullet stands, so slash spirits, and they can bend the trajectory of any bullet, so he can't get shot by any of his bullets because these things push them out of the way, as you can see there, if my camera wants to focus. These little guys push the bullet out of the way and hit his target, so if he's about to get shot, that he can dodge it with these, and also, if he shoots a bullet, he can literally shoot it in the wrong direction and these guys will make sure he hits the target. So he's a pretty deadly assassin, to be fair. Perfect for a gang. So you get this nice little effect piece here with two of his stands on it. So that's this guy. And you get another one, because this is the only way to display his stand, really. So... You can literally, you can see them kicking the bullet out of the way, which I think is pretty dope. It's a nice little effect. You also get 
the other three where you can put in different positions on the stand. So it's quite a complicated figure. And you get three guns. You get a, a gun that can dip into his trousers. You get a gun that he can hold normally. And you get a gun with an empty revolver to make him look like he's, he's um, reloading his gun. And then not only that, you get more bullet effects in the bottom there to display him with to make him look like he's shooting. And you get a screaming face for when he's a bit angry. So what we'll do, because we don't usually go crazy with accessories, we shall equip him with the gun hand so he can hold the gun and you can see what's going down. So bear with me one minute. Sorry about the weight guys, but as you can see there, I managed to ease his stomach into place properly. And I managed to get him into a nice little pose there so you can bend his legs and get his, his body and change his hands into place and he looks pretty dope there, I can't lie. He looks pretty awesome. So you've got Guido taking a shot, aiming his gun, nicely doing a Jojo pose, jumping out the way of harm's way. So he does that and then he shoots and then you have his little stand with the bullet there coming out and then that can just fly off and he kicks the bullet to where it wants to go so this guy hardly ever misses a shot so if if you're his enemy you might want to run because even if he misses his shot his little six stand friends will make sure the bullet hits the correct target and you'll be in a lot of trouble so yeah pretty solid love the paintwork love the design very flamboyant as always very good not many paint defects that I can see of, maybe slight on the white. And accessories top notch. You get many accessories, which you can't argue with at all. So a very solid figure right there. Very solid. Can't argue with him at all. And then for those who like seeing the, the screaming heads, I'm not going to put it on because I need to ease him off, but... There's his screaming face, so you can have him in that, which I particularly, I don't really like this face, but it's good just to have a variety if you do want him in a screaming pose. You can have that if you really, really want to, which is dead nice. So yeah, solid figure. Only cost me £65, this guy, because he was on sale. That's with postage all the way from Japan. Usually it would be express, but as with COVID and all the other delays and shebang in the world going down living in England getting cool stuff is quite a chore at the minute but I bought this from a shop called ninnin.game.store very good they always have lovely figures and you can choose uh, international priority postage get it here quicker so this guy usually runs you on eBay and places around maybe let's say a hundred plus but yeah, he was on sale on their site. Whack on a bit of postage. So all in total, bought him before Christmas. 65 bucks, 65 pounds, you can't go wrong. Solid figure, many accessories. And you get the stand. Usually you don't get the superpower with the figure. You have to buy it separately. So for this guy, you really can't go wrong. Guido Mister. And his stand, six bullets or sexy pistols, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Very good, I have to admit, a nice addition to the collection. Smug guy, smug colours, powerful superpower, special ability, solid figure. So yeah, sorry before the end, again, you always get your display base that I don't use, as you know me very well, and you get your instruction manual. If you're a novice at these things like I, I am when doing YouTube videos, I'm a novice. So you get your instruction manual on how to pose these guys and how to take them apart. Always a Brucey bonus. So unfortunately guys on this one with accessories, we've had to break a habit of a lifetime. So this figure, if you want to just pose him with a gun, that's fine. But if you want to pose him with these little effect pieces, especially if you're me, you're going to have to crack open the display base 
which you know me, I'll never use it. But on this one, I just wanted to quickly show you the kind of things you can do. So you can have Mister there with his little bullets, one by his feet, and you can have him there aiming his gun. And obviously, I don't know if you can see that very well, but he takes the shot, and then his one bullet friend there. Try and zoom in. The quality's not that good, so you'll have to bear with me. And then he takes the shot, and then the bullet kicks it out of the way to hit his trajectory. So that's quite good. Lots of accessories, as we said. You can also use this stand for many more. So if you don't want to have the one, you can have this effect piece, which is probably my favorite one. So you stick this on like so. And then you can have him kind of shooting up. As the music goes into the correct theme song for this video so here you go mister takes the shot and his two little bullet pals cheering as they fire forward so that's quite nice and then finally if you don't want to go for any of that you can take that off and you can just have sort of if you just want the bullet effect, if you just want him shooting a gun with no crazy stands or anything like that, you can kind of just have him with this nice bullet effect here. Bear with me one second. So you can just have him shooting. I don't know if you can see that very well. Put him to the side. So there you go. You can just have him popping a few shots off the bat and obviously he's got his lucky number five there he's always crying in the show because he doesn't like violence he's always crying at his feet nice little effect there so yeah you can have mister just popping shots off like it's nothing which i think is an awesome considering you get all this stuff and i never use display bases for this one it might just be worth it one last thing I may as well just show you while i'm here if you really want to you get a gun piece where from right you can just have him chilling and it's like half a gun because it fits just nicely in his trousers there and that's where he keeps his gun in the show so if you want mister just chilling a nice little jojo pose being a badass for no reason and you don't want any of the guns and the craziness you can also have him like this which I think is pretty dope so yeah there's a few accessories on the bounce just wanted to add that into the video before we finish so yeah that's it really for this one guys thank you very much for watching thank you for your time as always hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed support the channel by smashing that like button as we're very new we enjoy your support be nice to uh, get a few more watches on the go. If you know people that enjoy JoJo's and enjoy collecting and action figures and collectibles, suggest the channel over to them, give them a watch. Well, suggest that they give us a watch, would be most appreciated. Hit that like button and the notifications bell, always appreciated. If you didn't like, fully understandable, and give us your feedback down below, or you can message me directly. We're always looking to uh, make improvements, so yeah. Thanks again, guys. Cheers for your time, as always. Stay safe in these crazy days and keep collecting.